I worked as a Peace Corps volunteer in the Dominican Republic. For two years, I often used Donde No Hay Doctor, or Where There Is No Doctor, and Aprendiendo a Promover la Salud, or Helping Health Workers Learn, as resources to develop and train health promoters in my town, El Limón de Jimani, of about 3,000 people. I used graphics in the books to inspire didactic materials, and both books gave me great ideas about what a health promoter should be and how they can be selected, trained, and supported. In my third year, I worked to replicate the same model in three communities in the region. The group of seven women in El Limón who graduated as health promoters remained very active in their community, and they wanted to continue teaching other women about important health matters, such as nutrition and reproductive health. They had the idea to open an office and use the books as resources, since they were so useful to me. Sarah, RPCV, Dominican Republic. I was a volunteer in Ghana from 1988 to 1991. Initially, I started out as a water and sanitation volunteer, but it soon became apparent that the real need was for trained primary health care workers in the village. My wife and I started working at, and eventually ran, a clinic focused on guinea worm eradication. With a line out the door of 50 to 100 people every day, people waited to be diagnosed for health-related issues. There was simply no access to good health care services and where there's no doctor turned out to be an invaluable source of information for diagnosing illness. As a result of the clinics, two villages approached me to train people in their area as primary health care workers. We started out with about 20 students, and ended up with three students and two villages. When a group of Peace Corps volunteers left for the U.S., they left their copies of the book for me, and I was additionally able to get books in the hands of all my students, the original 20. After two years of training, two days a week, two hours a day, all of the remaining students passed their tests at the district offices and were given their certificate by the Ministry of Health. In the end, both villages decided to build clinics, and one of them is still funded and run by the Ministry of Health. Having those students on hand with their copy of Where There's No Doctor was the impetus for real change in health care in the village and surrounding areas. I especially appreciate the emphasis in the book on taking an entire regime of antibiotics. This was essential to convincing one of my students, a medicine seller, to require his patients to buy and take an entire regime of drugs rather than the usual handful of pills. Moving through the diagnostic hierarchies in the book allowed my students to be logical in their approach to evaluating illness and subsequent treatment. Where There's No Doctor helped change the minds and attitudes of my students about health in general, and in the change that one person could affect on their own. I'm sure a lot of lives were saved, and many people empowered as a result of that text. Talbert, RPCV Ghana. I was a Community Health Education Peace Corps volunteer in Cambodia, and I helped village volunteers and health center staff to improve their health education sessions. When I first arrived in my village, I used Where There Is No Doctor and Helping Health Workers Learn, two books which I soon realized are published by Hesperian. I found out that Hesperian was writing Health Actions for Women, which I thought could help me with my girls' empowerment and health class I was teaching, and finding both very rewarding and challenging. Every day I met people who didn't understand why this class mattered, so I wanted to try new methods to get everyone, boys, girls, men, and women, involved in women's health and empowerment. Since the book wasn't available yet, I contacted Hesperian hoping to be a part of the process and get a sneak peek. A few weeks later, I was reading the family planning chapter with my counterpart from a local NGO called the Women's Resource Center. We planned a session on basic family planning, types of birth control, and how to choose birth control. What surprised me most during the session was that the women all understood the main message. Family planning is about your choice and what you need. It's often difficult to get people to look beyond memorizing information, but that's exactly what this book did. At one point in the session, we wanted to teach the women how to use condoms. One woman protested and asked, Why would I need to learn this? I'm married and I already use an implant. Before my counterpart could speak, the other women were telling her about how a condom could prevent STIs and how with this information, she could go back and teach the younger girls what they needed to know. Family planning was actually one of the topics least talked about in the villages, but after using Health Actions for Women, I saw how empowering it can be for a woman to understand that family planning is about choice and not just about having fewer children. 
Helen, RPCV, Cambodia.